In this week's edition of Taste of the Town, a modern Japanese oceanfront eatery called Itaru. The name is a play off the Japanese word for the fifth element. Its sister restaurant is in London, and it's already a smash hit with royalty and celebrities alike. And as CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo reports, this is a spot that's a treat for all of the senses. We're cooking it up in the kitchen at the all-new Itaru on Hollandale Beach with New Zealand-born chef Hamish Brown, who's been at the helm of its well-established sister restaurant in London called Roka. Itaru is all about modern Japanese robotayaki cuisine and that state-of-the-art multi-level robota grill. We want to cook with heat as much as fire. By having all the different layers, we can control the heat and how we actually cook. This oceanfront space with warm woods and soft tones features dining inside and out. What are you going to do to kind of bring in the locals to this space, which is so beautiful? I think the one thing we found uh, when we were doing our research around the area was there was a lack of Japanese uh, restaurants around here. And we believe we're a really approachable Japanese cuisine with the Rabata Grill. It really does kind of make it an everyday kind of dining experience. And uh, it's something fresh for the area, and we're definitely excited about it. And Chef knows his customers are savvy when it comes to food. That's thanks to the computer generation. The general public's knowledge of what cooking, cooking techniques and how to cook and what ingredients are out there has changed dramatically over the last 10 years. Especially yeah. here, not so much here, but even in the UK, it's, it's really it's changed dramatically. People know what they're going to eat. People know more than some of the cooks in my kitchen, I tell you. <laughs> The sashimi platter for two is a virtual sculpture of different fish, from salmon to fatty tuna, scallops, and more. In respect to the Japanese presentation, um, the cutting of the fish is obviously really important for the flavors and textures. Um, just trying to make it a little bit special for our customers. And my favorite, tuna tartare with quail egg and caviar. Super rich. A little bit of acidity, saltiness from the caviar. When the chefs describe it, I don't need to say much because that's exactly right. That combination is just so fresh and cold. And then that little salty crunch, Yeah, it's a winner. There's the delicate grilled prawn skewers, which are cooked in soy sauce, honey, and garlic, and a yellow tail sashimi with truffle ponzu sauce that's simply out of this world. That could be my favorite yellow tail dish I've ever had. So what do you want the vibe to be here on a Friday, on a Thursday, on a Saturday night? We want this place to be a, like a big lounge room for people. Happen a place in. where people can come in, they feel comfortable in here. We're a neighborhood restaurant. It's a place you can pop into any time. We're hoping it's going to be the place people come to meet. Speaking of meat, check out this beautiful robata grilled filet served with trumpet mushrooms that are inside a magnolia leaf. It just feels like such a special dish. Yeah, it's, it's, for us, it's, it's a real good, great reflection of modern Japanese food. We end our meal on a lavish dessert platter, a Japanese popsicle, fruit, guava mochi, and a chocolate pudding with a gooey liquid green tea filling. I'm attacking this chocolate green tea pudding. Tell me how many days we're open here at Etaru? So we're open seven nights, and weekends are open lunch as well, and brunch on a Sunday. Oh. This is a very special taste of the town on Hollandale Beach. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Itaro is located at 111 South Surf Road in Hallandale Beach. I'm totally sold. That yeah, looks amazing. Yeah, that's right up your alley. It seemed yeah. like Lisa really enjoyed herself, too. Imagine how many yellowtail dishes Lisa have, has tried <laughs> in her career and in her life, and that's what she says is maybe her number one.